The final muscle of the deep layer is going to be the pronator quadratus, which is square muscle right around here. It's the distal quarter of the radius and the distal quarter of the ulna. It helps pronate the forearm. But in order to get the pronator teres out of the equation, we're going to flex all the way up, we'll bring his wrist into neutral. And again, I'm going to try and turn him outwards into supination. He doesn't want to be closing all his fingers and gripping me tightly. And I'm going to try and slowly load in. Resisted range of motion, good, and then slowly come back. And you don't necessarily have to stabilize down here because we have the table stabilizing. So again, you could palpate across the wrist and feel that muscle if we push the tendons out of the way each time we do this. And we can check the ulnar side as well. So in this position to test the pronator quadratus, I want to emphasize that we're not pulling down, that we're actually trying to turn his wrist outwards towards supination, okay? So I stabilize on the elbow and I'm just trying to turn him out like that, starting from neutral, slowly load in and resist me. And that's the muscle test, okay? We're not pulling down, we're not checking the elbow here, we're checking the distal end of the wrist. In this test position, uh, with the flexion at the elbow, it helps eliminate involvement or too much assistance from pronator teres because we know that also is a powerful forearm pronator. So this is the best way to take the slack out of that and we can just focus on the pronator quadratus in this position.